Hi there, this is the unboxing of Tainted Grail, The Fall of Avalon. I'm here uh, with colleagues who are keen to uh, see this. This is not my copy, and we're going to now open this up and see what's inside it. We're using scissors, and I'm hoping to not um, cut a finger, and see what's inside. So this um, is a game that's uh, arrived quite recently. I'm hoping to play the tutorial, which I've heard is highly recommended for this game, as it teaches you fantastically how to play it. I have a feeling this is going to do very well. I think it's going to reach Board Game Geek's uh, top 100 list and probably even top 10, just from the initial understanding of what it's all about. So we take off this thick plastic. Um, so this is a game of Arthurian legend, to quote someone mostly <laughs> close to me. And it's from Awakened Realms. These are the guys who have done Nemesis, and they're doing another game, which is a uh, futuristic theme game. So nice big heavy box. Um, this is where we're going to be starting, and uh, we'll be reading through that as to how to do it. We've got a bit of lore to read up on, I guess. We have the rule book. So we have some uh, spectators very keen to see what that's about. We're going to have the exploration journal, which we're going to go through as well. So they're protecting that spine, it looks like. We also have something called the Alai which is something else to look into. And the Arev, I don't know what that is. Um, something called the Maggot, and something called the Bekor, or Bior. So maybe those are characters. Some lovely feeling sheets, which might be maps. A bit of silica to keep things dry. Crow's Nest, I've got a map sheet, some statuses, um, all kinds of things we need to be filling in, a bit D&D-like. With a big Mantic-style protection box on the inside. Got dice, we have some player aids. This might be uh, held in with uh, plastic. We have some characters and some boards where we're filling things in. We have bonuses, we have uh, going insane, we have spirituality, caution, courage, practicality, aggression, and empathy. Some more stuff to be going on. And some backs of the boards are covered as well. Some huge minis, like two and a half inches tall. So you might recognize that on the uh, front cover and these are basically people are coming back after a few centuries from this island to do with Arthur and uh, re representing jobbers like they're like half-life we're not heroes we're just trying to get by and do what we can but probably save the day some little uh, maybe standees things to address stuff look into that we've got some looking like coins which could get painted or maybe um, play, um, placed up. We've got some bags, probably for what's in there. Deck of cards, so the small size cards. Um, so the secret, don't know if you need to open them until it tells you. I'm sure it will uh, go through the rule book what we should be opening when. Another silica pack, a couple of D6s and uh, different things on them. I think it's the direction that we go. So the game's a bit like Seventh Constant, whereby we're gonna be exploring the map. And uh, speaking of map exploring, I've got the cartographer's video to bring you soon. Then we have the order of the day, some stuff we might be working through, maybe it's a return order. Decks of stuff, loads of cubes, which well, I can see why we need bags, because lavender. More red cubes, another bag. Everything's going to start coming out. And finally, we're going to go through these decks of cards, which are nice and neatly packed in here. So we have... Um, it's called Glade Hair. So we have a set of things here. These are encounter looking things. We have another set of encounter cards here. Temptations. We've got uh, You're Going Insane. So maybe these are things you need to do to prevent it. Revealed Locations. Some other things in there too. Massive stack of things in here. More cards here. Diplomacy. Maybe you have to curry favour. Advancement pools. Um, we've got combat to go through. There are some uh, create and counter decks this chapter, so certain stuff specialist to this. And finally, we have open and play. Do not shuffle this card deck. So this is something else you need to work through. Looks like we're probably going to be starting with that. So that is it in a nutshell, which is an Americanism phrase, even though I don't believe this game is American based on the, these names of these designers. But for now, that is Tainted Grail, and that is the Fall of Avalon. So we'll see how we think of this, and thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you wish to subscribe, hit subscribe. And finally, if you have any comments, please put them in the YouTube channel comments. Look forward to speaking to you soon. This is the Mass Games. I'm Simon Lavender. Thank you. Bye.